Hi, my name is Siri and welcome back to my channel. Today in the video, we are going to talk about how to overcome the fear of being judged. I actually have a lot of thoughts to share with all of you in this video about this particular topic. So I'm going to try to deliver all the thoughts that I have in my head. So without any further ado, let's get into the video now. I can actually relate a lot with this particular topic because everybody of us go through this phase of life where people would always judge us. I went through that phase of my life. So when I was in my 10th standard, people would always judge me for my weight. People would judge me that Siri, you're overweight. Siri, you're too fat. Siri, you need to work on your weight. Siri, it's time for you to lose your weight. I heard all of this, th these things from my relatives, uh, from my friends, people around me. So too many people are saying the same thing too many times. I thought maybe that's true. Maybe whatever they are saying is true. Maybe it's time for me to lose my weight. So after completing my 10th, after completing my board exams, I thought of losing all the weight. I went through a particular diet. I worked really hard to lose all my weight. I lost all my weight. Now, when I met my friends and relatives after losing all the weight, I thought they would be happy seeing me in that way. Because in my past, they have told me that they have judged me that you're fat. Now, after losing all the weight, I thought they would be happy seeing me that way. I thought that. So when I met my relatives or my friends after losing all the weight, they told me that Siri, you're not beautiful now. Siri, you're too thin now. You're not beautiful this way. You were much beautiful when you were fat. I mean, when you were overweight, why did you lose all your weight? You're too thin now. You do not look good now. That reaction from my friends and my relatives that just shook me. I did not expect that from them. I thought they would be happy. I thought they would be happy looking at me that way. So from that incident, what I have realized in my life is that no matter what you are going to do in your life, no matter how much perfect you are going to be in your life, people are always going to judge you because people are never ever going to be happy with your life. You have to be happy with your life. You have to be happy with your own self. I have realized that one particular lesson from that incident in my life. Me being fat, it was a problem for people. Me being thin, it was a problem for people. Either ways, it was a problem. But when I was fat, I was letting my, letting my mind... Uh, I was letting my mind affected by all those judgments. When people judge me for my weight, I was letting all those affect my mind. Because judgments, people judging people judging you is going to affect your mental strength a lot, a men, your mental health a lot. Mental health is very important. So what we can do here is that we cannot really do anything about what people are thinking or how, or how people are judging us. What we can make sure is we can change our mindset. We can make sure that none of those judgments are affecting us in a wrong way. Because we cannot change how people are, how their thought process is. We can change our own mindset. We can change how we think. We can change how we accept those judgments. Now, same applies to English. Same applies to English. When you do not know how to speak in English, people are going to judge you that you do not know how to speak in English. That why didn't you learn English? Okay. When you are trying to learn this language or when you have learned this language, people are going to judge you that why are you learning this language? Did you forget your mother tongue? Like have you forgotten your mother tongue completely? Why are you learning this language? So either ways, it is going to be a problem for people. Okay, people are always going to be there to judge you. We cannot do anything about it. But we can make sure that none of them are affecting our mental strength. So, just do not let those judgments affect you. You learning English, you do not, if you want to learn, learn English, learn it. If you do not want to learn, that's up to you. Okay, that's up to you. You are free to choose what you want right but we cannot let all those judgments affect us 
so this is about we being judged and i would like to tell you one more point we are human beings so we usually judge people we ju- we judge people we judge other human beings that's how we are so when i was in my 10th standard again um like there was an issue with uh, one girl in my class so it it was like a verbal fight i came home and i was telling my brother that you know uh, she is really bad i started to judge her character my brother was like sitting wait for a minute what are you doing i said i'm talking about her no you're not talking you're judging her i said i'm not judging he said you are judging you are judging her character you are talking about some other person's personal life and some other person's character which is not your business that is of course called you judging her i did not have words for that now after that he told me an amazing point i always try to stick with it and that is he told me that see siri whenever you feel like judging someone judging some other person just try to imagine yourself in the place of th- in the place of the person whom you want to judge after imagine imagining yourself just give your mind second chance to think if you really want to judge i said no if i imagine myself in the place of the girl whom i want to judge i know how much pain it gives how much pain judgment gives because i've been through it so i don't feel like judging the next minute uh, i imagine myself in the place of the person whom i want to judge right so this is an amazing tip which my brother told me and i always stick with it and one more important point is that i would always come up to my brother and tell him that you know people are judging me for my weight people are judging me for the way i look so he told me that siri if you are judging people you don't have that right to complain that people are judging you first you should stop judging okay you should stop judging and do not let those judgments affect you so these are those golden lessons taught my bro- taught by my brother to me which i always try to stick with and they even help me now even now we try to judge people it's very easy to judge it's very easy to throw a harsh sentence on people but it's not easy to take that pain okay see whenever you feel like judging someone just try to emphasize that feeling how would that feel if someone judges you when you emphasize once you emphasize that you don't even feel like judging because you've been through that pain of being judged you know how that feels so you don't want the, uh, you don't want the other person to go through that pain it's the same and one more important point is that judgment comes out of hatred most of the times but opinion comes out of concern for example if i do not perform really well while shooting videos my brother would tell me that siri you did not perform up to the mark i thought you would perform better so he is going to tell his opinion about me i take it with i i accept it with my heart because that opinion came out of concern he did not tell me that siri why are you doing this siri why are you like this all the time i told you to perform well he did not tell me in that way he told me that siri you did not perform well you did not perform up to the mark maybe you need to improve yourself this is what he told me i can see that opinion coming out of concern but whereas judgment is going to come out of hatred there is a thin line between judgment and opinion you just need to identify it once you are able to identify this this difference between opinion and judgment you are going to be at peace with your own self because mental health is very important we often ignore that and one more important point is that you judging someone or someone judging you both ways you are getting affected negatively and negative thoughts are going to screw your life negative th- negative thoughts are not at all good to any kind of person i'll i'll tell you i'll explain this to you if you are judging someone you need to find out something negative in the other person to judge them negativity lies there if someone is judging you they are finding something negative in you to judge you negativity lies here as well so both ways you being culprit and you being a victim both ways you are being affected by those judgments you are being affected negatively 
we cannot fill our brain with all the negative thoughts do not ever let your brain to fill fill it up with all the negative thoughts negative thoughts are not at all good try to fill your mind with as many positive uh, as many positive things as possible positive vibes positive things are they are really important but what we generally do is if someone is judging us we would take it seriously we would let that judgment affect us and the point which we don't realize that which we don't realize is that no matter what you do in your life people are going to judge us that is the universal fact that we have to always keep in our brain we cannot change their mindset we cannot change the mindset of people who are judging us but we can change our mindset as einstein said brain is like a muscle if you train it it is going to work at according to it so it's the same train it in a nice way train it as it is not letting any of those judgments affect you you can do that but we cannot change the mindset of people who are judging us no matter how perfect you are people are going to judge you i'm stressing a lot on this one particular line because this is very important you are learning english people are going to judge you you are not learning english people are going to judge you so there is no particular mantra to overcome this fear of being judged all you can do is just train your brain in such a way where it is not letting any of those judgments affect you you just need to be happy with your own self you are living for your own self your family is going to express their opinions take them with a smile accept them with a smile accept them because your family wants to see you at a better position in your life those opinions comes they all of them come out of concern they do not come out of hatred but judgments they come out of hatred i'll i'll tell you an example see when i was overweight or when i lost all my weight my family was the same they will they were loving me all throughout my life even now they love me the same way as they have loved me when i was fat there is no change in their love there's there's no judgment coming from their side all they tell me is their opinions because they want to see me at a better position in my life so accepting those opinions with a smile is really good but accepting those judgments are no do not accept them do not let those affect your life do not ever let those affect your life because you need to figure out what is right for you you need to figure out you your family involve your close close people involve all the close people in your life into your life do not let people involve in it and do not let those judgments affect you personally keep your mental health strong because that plays a very important role okay so i just thought of sharing all these thoughts uh because uh, i just thought that the, these are going to really help you because mental health is sometimes it is supposed to be addressed a lot of times because it's very important Mel- mental health is very important we often ignore it but it is important okay so i just hope that you guys liked whatever i told in this video please do let me know in the comment section if you actually liked it and in just remember this no matter how perfect you are in your life people are going to judge you that's it so do not let those judgments affect you okay so that is it for the video guys i just hope you guys liked it please give it a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i will see you guys very soon till then you take care bye